Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. And uh, Brandon Bontant. Ready, Your Honor. Okay, Brandon in custody. Yes, he is, Your Honor. Yes, please. Come before. Uh, you raise your right hand, sir. And your attorney, Mr. West, is here. Are you Brandon Jamal yes, Bontan? Here in two cases, 23 CR 947, there's a motion to revoke probation, and there's 23 CR 1811, a new case. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that any statements you make during this hearing will be the truth of it? And nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, sir. Okay, lower your hand, sir. There's a motion to revoke probation here. Does the defendant waive a formal reading of this? Can we proceed in summary? We can, all right. In summary, this motion to revoke probation states that on September 11th last year, you were sentenced to five years in prison in this court, probated for 10 years for assault on a peace officer, a second degree felony. Is that true? Yes, that's true. One, number one violation sa states you committed the offense of criminal trespass on or about September 16th in Jefferson County, Texas. Is that true or untrue? Nah, that's um, that's I'm untrue. true. It's a trespass. I've been here 11 months. I, I take that. Okay, let me, let me explain. Nah, I ain't violating. I wasn't even trespassing. I got FBI. Oh. I might go to the United States. You know what I'm saying? I ain't so. Hold on. Is it true or not true that you're trespassing? It's not true. Okay. That's all you got to That's say. all you got to say. That's, that's, you gotta say. Gotta that's what I say. I'm putting untrue here uh, on your behalf. Number two, you, it says you committed the offense of public intoxication on or about September 23rd, 2023 in Jefferson County, Texas. Is that true or untrue? It's untrue. Three, on September 27th, that would be four days later, in Jefferson County, Texas, this state you committed the offense of evading arrest with a previous conviction of evading uh, evading arrest. Is that true or untrue? That's when they caught, that's when they put up at the own court. Uh, is that true or untrue? Can I explain myself? No, no. no just, first of all, is it true interview. or untrue? If that's untrue. Okay, that's all we need. They got to, it's up to them to prove it. Yes, sir. You don't have to prove your innocence. Four, you failed to report to the Jefferson County Probation Office for the months of September 23. Is that true or untrue? That's true. Why? Because I, I got FBI microchips in my left leg on, on the left side of my left knee, the one on the side of my right I ain't a hoe. I had surgery at St. Mary's after that shooting with Ernest Charles, Marsha Norman was my lawyer. Wait, wait. Why did that prevent you from going to check that's, in with that's Hold that's on, let me finish. Why did that prevent you from going to pro the probation office to check in? Yeah, nothing prevented me. I just, I just, actually, I just didn't go because they didn't have me on. I never saw a judge or a peace officer at the hospital. They gave me a shot in my arm with injection. I was just coming in. I was asking for a um, reinstatement today. I can't go to prison, and I've been working with prime tips. I ain't looking for no protection. I ain't putting on no FBI uniform. I'm going back to the streets. I know my rights. I got the freedom of speech, and I can actually, I can represent myself. That's the case. That's the case. But when they when they tell me when they when they tell me to calm down, John Stevenson, they take advantage of me. Some people they want to stay in with my breath is taken. You know what I'm saying? Some people can't breathe. And your honor, we're abandoning allegation number two, but the others are all already on. So. I apologize if I interrupted anybody. My name is Brandon Ball. Over I'm here, now, sir. Over here. And this is where. The action is right up here. Okay. Here's a document that's not your signature on it. When we put you on probation the first time, right there. See it? Yes, sir. I've received a copy of this order. I agree to follow all conditions imposed upon me. And I know that this community supervision can be revoked for any violation. Signed, there you are, Brandon Bonta. Now, let's get to it. Report as directed, number four. Report as directed 
by your community supervision officer, your probation officer, and obey all rules and regulation of the probation office. All right. One of the requirements is you report regularly, monthly, to the probation office. Why didn't you do that? You didn't want to? Man, I wanted to, man. But look, I was at the time, can I explain myself to you? Do I have enough time to? Go ahead. Around that time, I was I was using drugs, man, since 2011, since that shoot, since the aggravated robbery, the aggravated assault, we was capital murder charge, really, but he survived. So I got told with the aggravated robbery. Ever since then, they gave me hydrocodone after the um, surgery. So it trapped me and it sucked me into a lifestyle, into the bed of the beast. You know what I'm saying? And so I had to admit everything I did when I came, when I got locked up this last time, April 17th, April 17th, 2023. Where, I admitted everything since pre K that I seen, getting, heard, and did. Where were you as getting? As far as illegal activities and everything. All right, hold on. Where were you getting the drugs while you were on this court supervision? Now, I was getting them from um, the streets, man. The pot. BJ right. 7 on the street store. All right. Order. Condition number 10 of the probation order that you sign. Number 10, do not use or possess any drug. Uh-oh. So you're admitting you did that too? I, I did drugs, George. Dude. I, didn't get, look, I didn't get tested, though. I didn't get tested. I didn't fail, though. You wait. I'm admitting I'm being honest. But I'm done with drugs. That's why I had to meet. I got FBI microchips in my left knee. They can't be removed. They, I had surgery, 35 staples. Okay. My daddy brought to my... No, Everybody, have a, seat. Seat. Everybody yes. have a seat. Everybody have a seat. Uh, go ahead, State. You can call your first witness. Go yes, ahead. Have a hearing. Have a hearing here. They would call Aaron Taylor. Now we can tip on all the information. I'm sorry. If you keep making outbursts, if you want, if you keep making outbursts. If you keep making outbursts, we will put you in the back and you will listen. Yes, sir. Don't do that. That's rude. Come on up. Thank you. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you are about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. Yes, sir. Please have a seat. Thank you. Please state your name for the record. Uh, Aaron Taylor. And Mr. Taylor, uh, where do you currently work at? And how long have you been employed there? Seven years. Okay. And were you working there on September 27, 2023? I was, Mr. And were you dispatched to the Sunshine Grocery Store there at 640 Stadium? Yes. And what was that in reference to? It was a disturbance involving a shirtless mailbag on Sunshine. Okay. Uh, so when you arrived there on scene, what did you observe? I saw the, the shirtless male black walking across the streets in the car wash, and I went to the Okay. And you see him in the courtroom here today? Yes, sir. He's in the red jumpsuit. Okay. Your Honor, I'd ask that the record reflect that the witness identified the defendant? Yes, it would. Okay. And uh, you saw that individual, uh, and you attempted to detain him, is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, now... You've been called out there. Is was that in regards to a criminal trespass? Yes, sir. The complaints say that you've been previously trespassed and that he was called with service at that time as well. Okay. Uh, did you uh, were you able to look up and confirm that he in fact was criminally trespassed from that premises? Yes, sir. Our dispatch uh, confirmed it. Okay. Now you got there on scene. Uh, you saw the defendant. What happened at that point? Um. I just briefly spoke with, with the defendant, and then I learned that he had an outstanding arrest warrant for criminal trespass. And uh, so at that point, what did you do, attempt? Uh, I went to attempt to place my handcuffs to arrest him for the warrant. Okay. And did he uh, comply with that? No, sir. Uh, what happened when you attempted to uh, place him in handcuffs? Uh, he pulled away. There was a brief struggle. I attempted to get him back under control. Uh, he broke free my grip, and he ran north towards 7th Street. And was he, in fact, able to kind of get away from you at that point? Yes, sir, he was. I attempted to uh, deploy a taser. That was unsuccessful. And as I was chasing him, he kept yelling, I wasn't going to take him to jail. And, and did you keep searching for him? Yes, sir. We searched about 30 to 40 minutes, if I recall. And were you all able to locate him? Yes, sir. Eventually, we located him uh, in the 700 block of Stadium Road. And uh, were you able to identify that individual? Yes, sir. And what was his name? Brandon Bond. Okay. 
Uh, showing you was marked the state's exhibit one. Do you recognize this? Yes, and it is, what is that? Uh, it's body camera video of the troll curve here. You know, it's, and that's uh, from your body cam? Yes. Sir. And was that made on a device to get them accurately recording uh, the events on that day? Yes, sir. Most time. And were the yeah. events and the voices on that accurately uh, copied? Yes. yes, sir. Your Honor, I'll the face to exhibit one, uh, and if no objection from the defense, I ask the phone to report. The court? No objection, Your Honor. It's admitted. And so, where is the Sunshine Grocery located in regards to where you're at right now? It's immediately to the right of this view, directly across the street. Okay. And is that where you observed him coming from over there? Yes, sir. And that's where you received the call from? Yes, sir. Okay. So now you're stopping him. Where, what is this location? It looks like a car. Is that a car this wash? is Mike's car wash at 655 State is right across the street. And at that point, that he just, he just approaches your vehicle. Did you yes, call sir. him over there or anything? I did, yes, sir. Is your audio on? Yes, sir. No, this is the we're outside the vehicle talking, so this is the dash cam. Okay, you don't have I do, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, your honor, but it's the 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 body cam was uh kind of blocked on that where you couldn't see it. You can see everything on the actual video in a few right a minute or so. And what's going on right here? There? This is where I'm attempting to arrest him for his outstanding warrant. Nah, it was one guy. You was the only one at that scene right there, man. One more time, and you will be in the back and you will have to listen. In the back, please don't say it. Don't make an outburst again. That's rude, and it's against the rules. Is that the defendant running there across the road? Yes, sir. And did you, in fact, attempt to try and tase him at that point? I did, yes, sir. And that was unsuccessful? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, he runs and gets away from you right there. Uh, you said that Officer Lopez was able to locate him nearby? Yes, sir. It was about 30 minutes later. Okay. And did you ultimately uh, place him in the back of your patrol unit there? Yes. Okay. And took him to jail. Uh, yes. And did you arrest him uh, for the resisting, evading with the previous uh, conviction? Yes. Okay. Uh, pass the witness, Sean. When you got to the scene and you made contact with the individual, how did you identify that it was Brandon Bonton? Um, I've dealt with him numerous times over the years. Okay. I've talked with him and his family. I was familiar with him. I was correcting him. Okay, so you didn't ID him with a driver's license or identification card? No, sir. Did he have any of that? No, sir. No. Did you ask him for that? No, sir. Okay, all right. And how did, uh, and then so you ran to see if he had a, a trespass warning from that uh, grocery store, is that correct, or that convenience store? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. And why were you called out there? Was that the reason why you were called out there? Yes, sir. The clerk called the meetings from the office alleged to cause some disturbance out there. And they stated they want all the properties and then previously issued a criminal trespass warning for that location. Okay. Did you see him actually on that property when you were driving up? Yes, sir. It's not, I don't think it's visible on here, but it's, there's a light a couple blocks away as I was turning. I could see him walking off the property, crossing the street. Okay. That's what, Sharon. I have no further question, Your Honor. There's, we're talking about this man right there in yes. the red jumpsuit? Yes. Okay. Uh, is this man released? Yes, Your Honor. Your excuse, sir. You. Next, please. State would call Johan Nakeo. Please state your name for the record. Raise your right hand. You solemnly swear or affirm any statement you make today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Lower your hand. Go ahead. And how, are you presently employed? Yes. Uh, where are you presently employed at? How long have you been employed there? A year and three months. Okay. Um, were you working on the date of September 16, 2023? Yes. Okay. Uh, and did you get a call in reference uh, to respond to the raceway there at Point City Highway? Yes. Uh, and what was that in reference to? On property. Okay. Uh, now, when you got there, uh, what did you observe? I uh, spoke with the clerk. The advisor was in the middle of the back in the parking lot on the white shirt or jacket pants. All right, that's something that I observed. I don't know if the white shirt or jacket pants enter a passenger car. 
And uh, one of ten macros. Okay. And uh, when you approached him, what happened at that point? Uh, the previous encounters, I heard as a subject to be Brandon Bonton. So, so I had that contained him. I bought him to go out and on the curb. Okay. And when you advised him to get on the curb, uh, what did you do at that point? Uh, so I had his information already asked for his data I provided dispatch with that information. I then advised this to check to see if he'd been trespass warned from that property previously, and they later advised me that he was. So you're able to confirm that he was, in fact, trespassed from that property? Yes. Okay. And do you see Mr. Bonton in the courtroom here today? Yes. And can you please point to him and describe what he's wearing? Your Honor, uh, I'd ask that the record reflect that the witness identified the defendant? Yes, it was. Okay. And uh, when you found out that we were able to confirm that he had a, a trespass warning, uh, did you arrest him? Yes. I passed the witness. Sure. You were, why were you caught up to this, this scene? Uh, the the uh, the police department on the subject on the property. Okay. Okay. So someone was there. They didn't want on the property. Correct. Yes. Okay. And uh, you detained Mr. Which you could have my client. He uh, matched the description of the person they were looking for. Okay. Uh, how did you identify uh, who he was? Okay. So you didn't check his driver's license or identification, anything like that? Okay. And then you were determined that he was trespassed warrant from this location? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what information did you have to provide to dispatch? First name, last name, and the date of birth. And you knew the date of birth? No, sir. I asked Absolutely. Had you dealt with Mr. Bonton on few or many occasions? Thank you. Okay. But were you very were you familiar with him? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have nothing further, Your Honor. Can this man be excused? Yes, Your Honor. You were excused, sir. Thank you. Next, please. Defense. Yeah, I'm just about Come on now. I believe the defendant has already been placed under oath. Yes, sir. So, your witness. Thank you, All right, Brandon, let's go back to this. Uh, you placed on probation on September, uh, I believe, 11th of uh, 23. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And you got out on Friday, 9 15, 23, correct? A few days later? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, but then we have our first alleged incident we have here. They're alleging you trespassed on the 16th. That would have been a Saturday. Uh, do you remember what happened on that date? Uh, um, I was at the store. I wasn't trespassing because I'm a trespassing store. When Bob, he worked at 7th Street in Sunrise. He said, hey, Ron, at the, at the store across the street. My name ran to my point to him. I'm from 486 to David Street, Trey Deuce. So um, I wasn't, I wasn't trespassing. So, I mean, this is legal activity is going on. So I go out the store, I leave out the store, and I always pull up. I'm at the car wash. So he brought he brought my name and said, no trespass. And I heard that they that ain't the first time the Lawson did this. So I this time he grabbed my arm. So I took off running from him. I got away from him. Okay, hey, hold on a second. A minute, no is that the one that, that we saw on video a moment ago, or is that the first trespass? I'm talking about the, the one on the 16th. Two yeah, days after. Okay, okay. So what be going on with my mind? My mind operated straight FBI. You feel me? The biggest gangsters in America. As you walk up with freedom of speech. Okay. Uh, so you went to jail on the 16th and then you got out on Tuesday the 19th. Why didn't you report on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, or Friday? You had that one week that you were out. Man, I should have reported, like, like I said, I should have reported. At the, end of the, at the end of the day, man, I'm an FBI agent, an undercover joint for who to prove it forensics. They can't find them on no X ray or none of that. I got the right to lawsuit right now. Now with these cameras, bro, this audio, man, this ain't no paranoid, schizophrenic, auditory, Michael. I'm not no crackhead, man. I'm a black man. I love white. My little girl ready to break Logan Bonton. Thanks, sir. I really can't. But I'm going to say like this. I got the freedom of speech. They told me to testify. But when the guys, when I, when I speak up, when they tell me to calm down, they take advantage. They get scared of me. Okay. I, I possess a certain power that I don't even speak on. Okay. Because but I lose my power. I never trade my prayer for swine. That's what they tell me to do in the Bible, man. I know what vice Lord is, Jesus Christ. It's bigger than that, though, man. He the one taught us how to be a child and lust, don't he? 
I feel sorry for the little girl 15 years old that's pregnant for a nigga that's 32 years old, homie. We all been through it. You, me, and I'm you. Even though we the same, we different colors, man. I'm you too. I'm you. I'm her. I've been a female in my different life, man. Life goes on, brother. Okay. But Jeremy Douglas, okay. he shot that for the five spit the wisdom dick. Here's what we're going to do. Right that's enough. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to suspend this hearing. I'm going to ask Dr. Ed Grappon. I don't need no doctor, man. Side. I know, I'm not taking a you can, you can get him out of here right now. I'm talking to my daughter to myself. March North. Straight up. Fuck y'all. Nigga. Yeah. Straight up. Fuck this courtroom. Yeah. Do what the fuck you want to do. All right. All right. I uh, will ask Ed Grapon, Dr. Ed Grapon to analyze the defendant. For the record, of course, it's obvious the defendant is raving. On in a hysterical fashion, it is gibberish, it is vulgarity, and it is, of course, uh, it, it may or may not be part of the mental illness that makes him incompetent. Uh, he could be mentally ill and competent. He also could be faking it all, like we have seen uh, others do in this court in an attempt to. Uh, avoid responsibility for wrongdoing. The court, uh, though, has uh, findings that it will make uh, based upon the evidence. Is there any other evidence that the, that anybody wishes to present, state, or defense? That was, that was it. That was, the, defense, yeah. the court finds certainly by a preponderance of the evidence or greater the evidence that shows that the defendant committed the offense of criminal trespass on or about September 16th, 2023. Uh, also, the offense of evading arrest with, uh, evading arrest, whether or not with previous conviction on or about September 27th, 2023 in Jefferson County, Texas. And even he admits that he failed to report to the Jefferson County Probation Office as required, this says for the months of September, but he did not report at all uh, in September when he obviously admitted he had the opportunity uh, to do so. So those are preliminary findings and conclusions that the court is going to make. And the, the court does not have any other evidence in this record in this case that uh, shows any type of mental illness by this defendant. He, uh, it's, there's nothing showing apparently that he uh, has in the past raved uh, incoherently like he did, but he certainly, it's obvious when he does not get his way he exhibits a temper tantrum like a child, like a, I'm sorry, like an undisciplined child. And we'll see if that has anything to do with uh, competency or sanity. Uh, and we'll ask Ed, Dr. Ed Grappon to evaluate the defendant and we'll hold this in uh, in suspense and hold it in con and continue hearing at a later time upon receipt of the doctor's findings. Okay, that's on uh, Brandon Bontoff.